Hi there, this is Thomas Eugene Schussler III, and today we're going to be opening up our uh, Double Masters Draft Booster Box. Our collector box had some pretty good shit in it, but there, there was only four boosters with the collector, so based off of what I paid and all that, the boost, uh, the collector box was, was meh. You know, not terrible, not great. We, we're pretty, uh, I'll take, I'll take meh though. I'm alright with meh. Let's see if we can do a little bit better with this, uh, draft booster. We just don't want to get a shitty box, man. We'll, we'll be alright. Oh, before I forget, these are our, uh, our promo cards that we got with it. That's a nifty soul ring. Soul rings, I, I pretty much worthless. There's so many goddamn soul ring, rings, but that is a spiffy version. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And then we've got a weathered wayfarer. Uh, he is a human nomad, uh, nomad cleric. One, one for a plains and for a plains and tap them. Search your library for a land card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Then shuffle. Activate only if an opponent controls more lands than you. I, I like the that white has these search for land cards like a uh, what's the one land tax or I, I think that's the name of it I, I can't memorize I'm not good at memorizing the names of every single freaking card I, that's that's not what I do and then we got a bring to life three a forest and an island it's a sorcery search your library for a creature instant or sorcery card with mana value less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. Exile that card, then shuffle. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. So, you know, nothing too spiffy with our uh, our promo cards. That is a really nice soul ring, though. I like that one pretty good. All right. How many how many are in each of these? 16? How, how many are in here? I didn't even look to see how many was in the damn thing. What are draft boosters? There's a what are draft boosters on the back. Oh my god. Amateurs, man. I'm not even seeing where it tells me how many are in it. I'm working on trying to find an answer for you people. You know what? I'm just going to count the damn things. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three, twenty-four. Okay. So it's it's like a set booster. Isn't that how many are usually in the set boosters? And I can't memorize all this shit. 16 cards a pack. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here, man. Oh, the collector's opened a lot easier than this. Well, I guess not a lot easier. That wasn't too shabby. I've had a lot worse. Tokens are at the front this time. Vampire and a Sportling. A 1-1 Sportling and a 1-1 Lifelink Vampire. I want a bunny. Let's see if we can get us a bunny, man. That's the token I'm looking for is the freaking bunny. Cryptic Spires. So this is for a five-color deck. Uh, my brother, I noticed when he, he showed me this one, I was like, well, it's got to be in a five-color deck because you got all the mana symbols. Because we, we play Commander. So if you're playing Commander, it's got to be in a five-color Commander. As you uh, as you create your deck, circle two of the colors below. Cryptid Spire enters the battlefield tapped. Add one mana of either of the circled colors. I would recommend you don't circle one of the colors and you like use a piece of paper or some other token or something on the side to pick which two colors you want. I would not circle that. That's that's ruining the card. But yeah, Crypto Spires, okay. Whatever, man. Thought Scour, it's an uh, instant for an island. Uh, target player mills two cards, draw a card. We got Capture Spear, pretty classic one here. It's a, an enchantment with flash, enchant creature, and when it enters the battlefield, tap enchant, uh, tap enchanted creature, and it doesn't untap. Three in an island. Supreme Verdict? Jesus, man, we're already off to a good start, man. One, two planes and an island. It's a sorcery. This spell can't be countered. Destroy all creatures. That's a badass one there, dude. We got one in our collector booster, too. This is just our first pack, man. I'm already fucking digging this thing, dude. Hydroid Crace. X, a forest and an island. It's a zero, zero hydrid jellyfish. When you cast this spell, you gain half X life and draw half X cards round down each time. It's got flying trample and it enters the battlefield with X 1 1 counters on it. I really like this card too. I've actually got this guy. Uh, I'm actually, I'm probably putting him, I, he's, he's off to the side right now. I'm probably putting him in the deck I'm building right now. So, yeah, that's a really good one right there too. Surreal Memoir. I've never seen this one before, I don't think. Three and a four. Three in a mountain, it's a sorcery. Return an instant card at random from your graveyard to your hand, and it's got rebound. 
instant card at random from your graveyard. Eh. Oh, you're not too shabby there, guy. Okay? All right, whatever. All right. It, it costs four. Rancor! This is a pretty common one. It's an enchantment for forced. Enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus two plus zero and has trample. And when it's put in the graveyard, return it to its owner's hand. It only costs a force, so that's a good one. Young Pyromancer. I think we've already seen this one in our collector box. Yeah, it's a 2-1 Human Shaman for a 1 in a mountain. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1-1 one, one Red Elemental Creature token. Not too shabby there, guy. You only cost 1 in a mountain. Not too shabby. Brindle Shoat. Okay, we're going to go with that. It's a 1-1 one, one Boar for 1 in a forest. I've never seen you before, guy. When it dies, create a 3-3 three, three boar, uh, green boar creature token. Huh. Okay, you're a neat one. Agony Warp. Uh, it's an instant for an island and a swamp. Target creature gets minus 3, minus 0 until end of turn. Target creature gets minus 0, minus 3 until end of turn. Okay, so two different creatures. Gotcha. Huh. Well, you can have a nifty one, too. Supernatural Stamina. We got this in our Collector Booster. It's an instant for a swamp. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains when this creature dies. Return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Pretty much a creature protection spell for one swamp. That is nifty. Knightly Valor. It's an enchantment for four in a plains. Enchant creature. And when it enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance. And the enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and has vigilance. Yeah, but you cost four in a planes, dude. I don't think you're worth four in a planes. Even initiate initiate. It's a three-two bird warrior for three in an island. It's got flying and embalm six and an island. Okay. And we got another pretty rampant growth there. We got two of these in our collector box, a shiny and a non-shiny, but they both were exactly like this. I really dig this, so that was nice. And we got Ingenious Scabe. Scab? I don't know. Two, three, Zombie for a two and an island. It's got Prowess, and for one island, it gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. Yeah, I'm not impressed with you, guy. And Titan Strength. Target creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn. Scry one. It's an instant for only one mountain, so... Yeah, this first pack kicked ass, dude. Holy fuck. Fuck, I mean, let's, let's look at the good shit we got. We got our sort of rampant growth. That one's not too shabby there. We got us our, our uh, Hydra Jellyfish Capture Spear. Cryptic Spires we'll throw in there just for shits and giggles, just because it looks pretty neat. So, I mean, well, I mean, just the fucking Supreme Verdict alone, man. That was, that was a tight pack, man. Holy shit. So we're off to a good start here, man. If we can keep this type of momentum up, I'll be a happy camper, man. This opened easy. We're even opening the packs easy, man. We got a 1-2 spider token with reach and a spirit 1-1 one, one spirit with flying. Oh, uh, wait, that's right. I think my brother said that the you get one of these cryptic spires in every single pack, if I remember right. Annoyed Alistar. I think I've seen this one. 6-5 Dinosaur for 5 and 2 Forest. It's got Reach, Trample, and Cascade. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Uh, Perforos Emissary. I, I don't know how you pronounce that, man. But we got this in the Collector uh, box. It's a 3-3 three, three Ox for 3 and a Mountain. It's got Bestow 6 and a Mountain. It's got Menace. And then, of course, the Enchanted Creature, which you do with the Bestow. Gets plus 3, plus 3, and has Menace. Disciple of the Ring? I don't think I've ever seen you before. You look cool. I like the art there, man. That's that's pretty fucking awesome. It is a 3-4 wizard for three and two islands. Are you going in my wizard deck? One, exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Choose one. You don't even have to tap. So, choose one. Counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays two. Disciple of the Ring gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Tap target creature, untap target creature. Damn, you're cool. I like Disciple of the Ring. That was a good one. What the fuck are you? Skullbrayer, the Walking Grave. What the fuck are you, guy? It's a 1-1 Commander Zombie Elemental for a Swamp and a Forest. 
It's got haste. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 counter on it. Counters remain on it as it moves to any zone other than the player's hand or library. Holy fuck! You only cost two? Oh, damn, dude! I gotta build a deck around that guy, dude. He's fucking awesome! Oh, I liked that, dude! Oh, I'm a happy camper, man. What the fuck are you? You look cool. Sprouting Thrinax. It's a 3-3 lizard for a swamp, mountain, and forest. I don't think I got a deck you can even go in, guy. When it dies, create three 1-1 one, one green swirling creature tokens. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's shabby, guy. Path to Exile. It's an instant for planes. Exile target creature. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card. Put that card under the battlefield tap, then shuffle. Good goal, you rock farm. This is one of those dual lands. Last breath. Uh, it's one and a planes. Instant. Exile target creature with power two or less. Its controller gains four life. Dreg Mangler. Oh, I remember you, guy. It's a 3-3 plant zombie. It's a one swamp uh, for one a swamp and a forest. It's got haste and it's got scavenge three and it's swamp and a forest. Severed Strands. It's a sorcery for one in a swamp. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to the sacrificed creature's toughness. Destroy target creature and opponent controls. Now that I think of that, oh, that's going to go perfect in my, my one deck. I've already got several of those. I just realized I just realized it'd be perfect in there as I was reading. I was like, wait a second. All right, uh, we got militia bug uh, bugler, boogler. I, I don't know. It's a through three human soldier for two in a plains. It's got vigilance, and when it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with power two or less from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Let's see, it costs three? Huh, okay. All right, you don't suck, but you're not great either. Yeah. All right. Makeshift Mauler. I think I've seen this before. The artwork looks cool. It's a 4-5 zombie horror for three in an island. As an additional cost to cast this spell, exile a creature card from your graveyard. I'm paying four for you guy, and I got to exile a creature card. You suck, dude. That's trash. I don't like that. Thrive, this is a good one. X in a forest, it's a sorcery. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of X target creatures. I like that card. That's that's a one that I really like. La V Sky Knight, it's a 3-1 human knight for one of planes and an island. It's got flying, and when it enters the battlefield, detain, detain, target non-land permanent and opponent controls. What the fuck is detain? Until your next turn, that permanent can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated? Huh, I've never seen this detain thing before. That's pretty spiffy. I like that guy. And Hero of the Games. It's a 3-2 human soldier for a two in a mountain. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Hero of the Game, uh, Hero of the Games, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. So that would have been a very meh and or bad pack other than we got this motherfucker right here, man. Super fucking happy with that, man. I, I don't have I, I don't have that guy. I don't even know if I've ever seen him before, man. Bad son of a bitch, man. Oh, I like our skull brayer guy, man. There we go. We got that one open. So so far we're off to a pretty good start, man. Oh, I guess I could move these over to over to there. Oh, up there. There you go, guy. All right, we got a 2-2 two -two zombie and a 2-2 two -two knight. So two 2-2 two -two guys. And yeah, there's Cryptic Spires. Miss Metal Witch. Pretty sure I've seen you before. It's a 1-1 one -one wizard for one and a plains and or island. Two a plains and an island. Exile target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control during the beginning of the next instant. Huh. You're kind of a spiffy one. All right. Martial Glory, it, it's an instant for a mountain and a plains. Target creature gets plus three, so this is just like that other one, but instead of giving it minuses, it gives it pluses. Okay. Plus three, plus zero, two end of turn, and another creature, or the same one, gets plus zero, plus three, and two end of turn. Hey, this is a good one right here. 
I, I, I hope, I, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce this. Aurelia, the war leader. We're just going to call it the war leader. Two two mountains and two planes. It's a 3-4 commander angel. Flying vigilance haste. When it attacks for the first time each turn, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Yeah, she's a bad bitch, dude. Kind of pricey, though, man. Six, six to bring out your commander, and there's no green. So, at least it's not blue. That's the slow color, man. Dauntless Escort. It's a 3-3 Rhino Soldier for one, a forest and a plane. Sacrifice it. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. I like you, guy. You're fucking cool. Give my guys indestructible. I like that sort of thing. Hey, this is the uh, Inquisition of Kozilek. Uh, or Kozilek? How do you say Kozilek? It's a sorcery for a swamp. Target player reveals their hand. You may choose an online card from it with mana value three or less. That player discards that card. I'm not impressed with you because you have to... You, you've got some parameters. The three or less mana value you have to deal with, man. Extract from Darkness. If I remember right, this is a good one. Sor it's a sorcery for three, an island, and a swamp. Each player mills two cards. Then you put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That's, that's pretty fucked up. Body Double! That's a good one. It's a 0-0 zero, zero shapeshifter for four in an island. And when it enters the battlefield, you can have it be a... Uh, you can have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature card in a graveyard. Pretty spiffy. Spark Mage's Gambit. It's a sorcery for one in a mountain, and it deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures. Those creatures can't block this turn. Skeleton Archer. It's a 3-3 three, three Skeleton Archer. See? See, it's a, a skeleton archer is, in fact, a skeleton archer. Are you shocked? It's a 3-3 for a 3 in a swamp. And when it enters the battlefield, it does 1 damage to any target. Doomed Traveler. It's a 1-1 one, one human soldier for a plains. And when it dies, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. And another capture spear. Vampire Sovereign. It's a 3-4 Vampire for 3 and 2 swaps. It's got flying, and when it enters the battlefield, target opponent loses 3 life, and you gain 3 life. Might of Old Corosa. It's an instant for a forced. Oh, okay, I know this one. Okay, it's just different artwork. Okay, I know which one this one is now. Yeah, target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. If you cast this spell during your main phase, that creature gets plus 4, plus 4 until end of turn instead. We got the Quasily... Pride Mage. It's a 2-2 Cat Wizard for a Forest in the Plains. It's got Exalted and 1. Sacrifice it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Fiery Fall. It's an instant for 5 in a mountain. It deals 5 damage to target creature. And it's got basic land cycling. You really suck, dude. You got 5 in a mountain? Holy shit. Well, that, that pack sucked, but, you know, our first two packs were really fucking awesome. So, we'll let, you know, I'm okay with one or two crappy packs as long as the rest are super fucking awesome, man. A commander that won't lose any of his counters as he moves between zones. That's pretty cool. 1-1 one, one worm token and Aven Initiative, a 3-2 flying zombie bird warrior token. I've never even seen you, man. I've never even seen this token before, man. And there's our Cryptic Spires. Okay, or move two cards. Stormfleet Pyromancer. It is a 3-2 human pirate wizard for four in a mountain. It's got one storm. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if you attack this turn, it deals two damage to any target. You're not very impressive, guy. Il Umbra, it's a one, uh, it's an enchant creature for one in an island, and it has flash, and the enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and it's a totem armor, which means when it's destroyed, uh, if enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. Yeah, that's right. Master of Cruelties, it's a one four demon for three, a swamp and a mountain. It's got first strike and death touch, and it can only attack alone, okay? Whenever it attacks a player and isn't blocked, that player's life total becomes one. What? Whenever Master of Cruelty attacks a player and isn't blocked, that player's life total becomes one. Master of Cruelty assigns no combat damage to this combat. Holy fuck, dude! 
You're bullshit, dude. Holy hell. That's fucking cool. And he's got first strike into... You're a bad son of a bitch, dude. Holy shit. Hey, we got Rishkar, Pima, Renegade. We're going to say that's what it is. It's a 2-2 two -two Commander Elf for two and a forest. Yeah, when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of up to two target creatures. And then each creature with a counter on it has add a forest to your mana pool. A tap, add a forest. Yeah, he's, a, he's an all right elf. He's all right. I'll never say no to getting an elf. That master of cruelties was a bad son of a bitch, though, dude. Holy hell. N Nephophilia smuggler. We're going to say that's that's what it is. It's a 1-1 one, one human rogue for an island. For three in an island, tap it, exile another target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Huh, you're kind of a spiffy guy. Lolith Troll. It's a 2-1 zombie troll for a swamp and a forest. It's got trample, discard a card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Lolith Troll. And for a swamp, you can regenerate him. Oh, you're kind of a nifty one there, guy. I like you. Hey, we got Mist, Mist Meadow Mid, uh, Witch again. Ground Assault. It's a sorcery for a mountain and a forest. It deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. Ooh, you're cool. Oh, it only goes to a creature, though. It'd be nice if it was any target. That'd be cool. Battlefield Promotion. It's a it's an instant for one in a plains. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. That creature gains first strike to end of turn. You gain two life. Damn, dude, you do a lot for one in a plains, dude. You're pretty spiffy for one in a plains there, man. Mana Leak. It's an instant for one in an island. Counter target spell unless its controller pays three. Strands of Undeath. It's an enchant creature for three in a swamp. And when it enters the battlefield, target player discards two cards. For one swamp, you regenerate enchanted creature. Web Weaver Changeling. I'll have to go back and see if that's the one. There is a spider I got in my... Uh, Collector box that mentioned something about web something. I'll have to see if this is what it was talking about. It's a 3-5 shapeshifter for 3 and 2 forest. It's a changeling with reach. When it enters the battlefield, if there are 3 or more creature cards in your graveyard, you gain 5 life. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you don't suck, but you're not particularly spiffy. Deep Analysis is a sorcery for three and an island. Target player draws two cards. And it's got flashback one, an island, and pay three life. Dark Dweller Oracle. It's a 2-2 two -two goblin for one in a mountain. One, sacrifice a creature. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Ooh. My brother will want that. He's got an exile deck that that'd go really good in, man. And grapple with the past. One in a forest. It's an instant. Mill three cards. Then you may return a creature or a land card from your graveyard to your hand. So, not, you know, nothing too super awesome other than Master of Cruelties, man. So, I mean, that made it worth it right there. But, I mean, it wasn't a shitty pack. It wasn't a, wasn't a super awesome pack if you take him out of the equation. But now, now it's freaking badass pack, man. Holy shit, we're 23 minutes in? God damn it. Always try to make them fast, man. We got a 3-3 boar. I've never seen a 3-3 boar. And a treasure. Okay. Crypt expires. Oh my god. Livewire Lash. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah, my brother got one of these. It's an artifact equipment for two. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell, this creature deals two damage to any target. Equip two. Hyena Umbra. What are you, guy? You're an enchant creature for a plains. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has first strike, and it's a totem armor. So to give your guy plus one, plus one, first strike, and it's got a... Uh, and it's got, like, it is pretty much a shield... Shield counter. You're pretty damn good for one planes, dude. For one planes, that's a damn good card there, man. Boar Tusk Liege. It's a 3-4 goblin for one, and then mountains or forest, three of them. It's got trample, and other red creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Jeske Ascendancy. I think I've seen this one before. 
It's an enchantment for an island, a mountain, and a plains. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Untap those creatures. What? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And you untap them. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. You're a bad fucker, dude! You untap all my creatures just because I played something? You're, you're fucking awesome. That's a good one. Aether Mage's Touch. It's an instant for two of planes and an island. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. It gains at the beginning of your end step. Return this creature to its owner's hand. Then put the rest of the cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. You only cost four? Look at the top four cards. You may put a creature card. Huh, oh, you're... You're pretty cool. I like that one. That's a pretty good card. We got an Orzhov Basilica. Jesus Christ. It's a dual land for a, a plains and a swamp dual land. Eternal Witness, but it's all badass looking. That's pretty cool. It's a 2 1 human shaman for 1 and 2 forest. And when it enters the battlefield, you may return a card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, I knew what this was when I saw it, but it's. Really cool fucking version, man. That's pretty sweet. Martial Glory. Oh, we already seen this one. Settle Beyond Reality. It is a sorcery for four in a plains. Choose one or bo uh, both. Exile target creature you don't control. Exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Kind of a shad pricey there, but it allows you to... Uh, both exile a creature and protect your own guy. So, eh, I can understand the five. All right, you're pretty cool. God's Willing. It's an instant for one planes. Okay. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Scry one. Oh, you're pretty cool. You only cost the planes. Aether Snipe. It's a 4-4 four, four elemental for five in an island. And when it enters the battlefield, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. And you can evoke it for one and two, two islands. Eye Blight's Ending. It's a tribal instant elf for two and a swamp. Destroy target non-elf creature. I like you because my favorite type of creature is elf. So you'll destroy something except for anything of mine. So I like you. Cartel Aristocrat. It's a 2-2 human for a plains and a swamp. Sacrifice another creature. It gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Huh. You're a nifty one. Monastery Swift Spear. I think we got one of these in the, uh, yeah. It's a 1-2 human for a mountain. It's got haste and prowess. And we got a deadly recu recluse. It's a 1-2 spider for one in a force with a reach and deft touch. Eh. Yeah, very mad pack. All right, what are we going on here? A spider and a spirit. Didn't we get one exactly like this? I think we got this exact same thing. Yeah, we already got one of these. Exact same freaking token. Front and back. I wonder if all the all of them have the same fronts and backs. Let's see, we got another vampire sovereign. We got another hero of the game. Oh, this is the one I needed! Oh, I need this for my deck! Ooh, oh, oh no. My brother's gonna end up watching this, so now he's gonna know what I'm what I'm doing with my deck. Son of a bitch! No, this this one I needed though. I don't need it now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Dark, Dark Side Extortionist, one two Goblin Pirate. It's a one in a mountain. When it enters the battlefield, create X treasure tokens where X is the number of artifacts and enchantments your opponents control. It's a bad fucker, dude. Oh, I'm a happy mother. That's the one. All I need now is a Kozilek, dude, and I'd be the happiest motherfucker, dude. Although I'm already fucking... What the fuck are you? You look awesome. Tareel, Reckoner of Souls. Goddamn, dude, I got like a Merciless guy, a Walking Grave guy, and a fucking Reckoner of Souls. This is one dark fucking box, dude. <laughs> For a, a mountain, a plains, and a swamp, it's a 4-7 angel? Holy fuck, dude. Commander, it's got flying and vigilance. Tap it. Choose a creature card at random from target opponent's graveyard. Put that card onto the ba battlefield under your control. Jesus Christ, you're a bad fucker, dude. 
Damn, dude! I'm liking this pack. We got a Dream Shaper Shaman. It's a 5-4 Minotaur for 5 in a Mountain. And at the beginning of your end step, you may pay 2 in a Mountain and sacrifice a non-land permanent. If you do, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land permanent. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Huh. You're kind of a cool one there, guy. That was a neat one. A Scab Clan Giant. It's a 4-5 Giant for 4 a Mountain and a Forest. And when it enters the battlefield, it fights target creature and opponent controls chosen at random. Oh, I don't like that. That sucks. You're crap, dude. Mentor of the, me uh, of the Meek. It's a 2-2 human soldier for 2 in the plains. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay 1. If you do, draw a card. You're fucking cool. I like this guy. Power 2 or less. Blood, for, uh, Blood Flow Connoisseur. It's a 1-1 vampire for 2 in a swamp. Sacrifice a creature, put a 1-1 counter on it. Oh, you're just like that other guy. Oh, you're pretty cool. Momentary Blink. It's a, an instant for one in a plains. Exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. And it's got flashback for three in an island. Oh, you're cool. Other than you've got this goose being ripped in half. I'm not too big of a fan of that. But other than that, a goose, some sort of goose pegasus thing, you bob, whatever the fuck you are. Huh. Advanced Stitch Wing. It's a 3-4 zombie horror for three and two islands. It's got flying. Two and an island. Discard two cards. Return this from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Hmm. Okay. Carrier Thrall. It's a 2-1 vampire for one in a swamp. When it dies, create a 1-1 one, one Eldrazi Scion creature token. It has sacrificed this creature. Add a colorless. Ingenious Scab, we've already seen you. We've seen Titan Strength, Tuscard Captain. It's a 2-3 human for 2 and a forced. And it's got Outlast. And each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it has Trampled. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of this one, even though it's, it's, it's not a very good card. I just, for whatever reason, I, I really like it. 10th District Legionnaire. If I remember right, this is a good one. It's a 2-2 two, two human soldier for a mountain and a plains. It's got Haste. And when you cast a spell that targets it, put a 1-1 counter on it. Huh. For, for a fucking mountain in a plains, you're a pretty good guy. Yeah, I remember this card now. Yeah, This is different artwork than the one I got. That was bitching, dude. We got fucking the angel. Didn't we get the, the yeah, the dark side extortionist? That was a bad fucking pack there, dude. Oh, that was nice, man. Holy shit, that was fucking awesome. We got a Sporling and a Vampire. Okay, we got our Cryptic Spire. We got another Dream Shaper Shaman. What the hell are you? Shadowborn Apostle. A 1-1 one, one Human for a Swamp. A deck can have any number of cards named Shadowborn Apostle. What are you, a Relentless Rat? Swamp. Sacrifice six creatures named Shadowborn Apostle. Search your library for a Demon Creature card. Put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. You're fucking trash, dude. You gotta sacrifice six dudes for one fucking demon? What a fucking waste. Chaos Warp. It's a instant for two and a mountain. It, the owner of target permanent shuffles it into their library, then reveals the top card of their library. If it's a permanent card, they put it onto the battlefield. Elsha of the Infinite. It's a 3-3 Dijin Monk legend, uh, Commander. For two, an island, a mountain, and a plains. It's got prowess. You may look at the top card of your library any time. You may cast non-creature spells from the top of your library. If you cast a spell this way, you may cast it as though it had flash. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> Summer Bloom! I was looking for this one, too. It's a sorcery for one and a forest. You may play up to three additional lands this turn. You're going in my Azusa deck, man. Nice. Conclave Mentor. It's a 2-2 Senator Cleric for a forest and a plains. If one or more 1-1 one, one counters would be put on a creature you control, put that many plus 1-1 one, one, one counters on that creature instead. When it dies, you gain life equal to its power. 
Oh, you're kind of a spiffy one, dude. For only two, for forced uh, planes, you're pretty neat. And we got another dual land there, Silencia Sanctuary. Chronicler of Heroes. It's a 3-3 Senator for one of forced and a planes. And when it enters the battlefield, draw a card if you control a creature with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Okay. Is it Charm? That's a pretty common one. It's an instant for a island and a mountain. Choose one. Counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays two. Is it Charm? Does two damage to target creature or draw two cards then discard two cards. A Knock Bonkin. It's a 2-1 Dog Soldier for one in a plains. It's got Outlast, one in a plains. Each creature you control with a 1-1 one -one counter on it has first strike. We got another Ill Umbra. Ballstrade Spy. It's a 2-3 Vampire for three in a swamp. It's got flying. When it enters the battlefield, target player reveal card uh, reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a land card. Then puts those cards into their graveyard. Ooh, you're kind of an asshole. This guy's kind of a dick. Living Lightning. It's a 3-2 Elemental for three in a mountain. And when it dies, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, okay. You're not, you're not so shabby again. And we got a non-spiffy rampant growth. Non-spiffy this time. Holy shit. They do exist. Huh? And we got an Augur Spree. It's a, an instant for one, a swamp and a mountain. Target creature gets minus four. Oh, plus four, minus four until end of turn. Eh, not shabby. That one wasn't shabby. We got our, I got my Shadow Bloom I was looking for, so that's nice. I'm probably not going to complain too much about this with what we got so far, man. Holy fuck. We got a Zombie Knight token. There's our crypt. We got another Deadly Recluse. God's Willing. Backdraft Hellkite. It's a 4-4 dragon for three and two mountains. It's got flying, and when it attacks, each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. This guy's supposed to be cool, if I remember right. Uh, Tar Taran Sky Summoner. It's a 2-2 Commander Merfolk Wizard for two and two islands. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 Blue Drake creature token. Yeah, he's, he's not too shabby. Scale Blessing. It's an instant for three in a plains. Bolster one. Then put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. What's bolster again? Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Okay, so you're going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on a guy and then put a 1-1 one, one counter on every guy who's got a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Ah, you're pretty cool. I like that one. Live Wire Lash again. Go for the throw. Uh-oh. It is an instant. Destroy target non-artifact creature for one in a swap. That's a good one. Wingsteed Rider. It's a 2-2 human knight for one in two planes. It's got flying and heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Pretty sure we got this in the uh, collector. That's the one that we got. Kashima's Transmutation. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, we got one of these in the collector too. It's a uh, enchant creature for one in an island. Enchant creature loses all abilities and has base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. That's a good one. Relief Captain. It's a 3-2 knight for two and two planes. When Relief Captain enters the battlefield, support three. Yeah, okay. Forbidden Alchemy. What do you do? Instant. Two and an island. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. And it's got flashbacks. Six in a swamp. We got another Shadowborn Apostle, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Annoyed Alistor, and Call to the Feast. What do you do, guy? It's a sorcery for two a plains and a swamp. Create three 1-1 one, one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink. Huh. Yeah. All right. All right, guy. All right. That was kind of a mid pack, but I think we're on a fucking hell of a roll so far, man. Let's see if we can keep this show going, man. What do you got for me, man? Now I'm just looking for a bunny token or a cosmic, man. We got an elemental and a Phyrexine Golem. You're looking cool, dude. That's a cool one. I like that token. And our crypt expires. 
Oh, this guy was supposed to be cool if I remember right. Mark Fiend Liege. He's a 4-4 four, four whore for two and four uh, islands. Three of them. Oh. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Untap all green and or blue creatures you control during each other player's untap step. You are going in the deck I'm building right now. You are fucking awesome. I, I love the untappy stuff. People, people, <laughs> I piss people off because I always untap my fucking guys all the time, man. Spell Pierce. It's an instant for an island. Oh, I think we've already seen this one. Counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays two. Green Sun Zenith. It's a Zenith card. I don't, I don't think I've got the green one, which is weird because that's my favorite color. I think I've got... I think I've got the, the black one, the blue one, and the white one, I think. I don't think I've got this one. X and a four. Search a library for a green creature card with mana value X or less. Put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. Shuffle Green Sun Zenith into its owner's library. Oh, so it goes on the battlefield? I like you! Ooh, you're my new buddy, man. I like that one. Mm. Zer the and you go into your library into the library, right? Holy fuck, I like you! <laughs> Zer the Enchanter, it's a one for commander wizard for one of planes, an island, and a swamp. Whenever it it's got flying, and whenever it attacks, you may search your library for an enchantment card with mana value three or less, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. Huh. Hey, you're not too shabby there yourself, guy. That's a alright one. River who po? It's a one three funky bird thingy for a forest and a island. It's got flying three, a forest and an island. You gain two life and draw a card. Okay. Bloodbraid elf. I know you guy. It's a three two elf for two a mountain and a forest. It's got haste and cascade. I'll never say no to an elf. Abzan Falconer. It's a 2-3 human soldier. For Wait, haven't we seen this one before? No, no. We saw the other one. For two and a planes, it's got Outlast for a planes. Each creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it has flying. Glow Spore Shaman. I don't... Have I ever seen you before? That's going to be amazing. An elf I haven't seen before. It's a 3-1 elf for a swamp in a forest. When it enters the battlefield, mill three cards. You may put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. What? Oh my god, it's an, it's an elf that I'm not impressed with? That's sad. I don't like you, lady. Winged Kotol. It's a 1-1 one, one snake for one, a forest, and an island. It's got flash flying and death touch. Oh, you're cool. Does go all kinds of nifty shit. And we got another Knightly Valor, Thought Scour, Seeker Squire. You look cool. So one, two, human for one in a swamp. When it enters the battlefield, it explores. Oh, well, you're not nothing spiffy. You look cool, though. Pirate's Pillage. If I can keep the cards in my damn hand. It's a sorcery for three in a mountain. That's an additional cost to cast this spell. Discard a card. Draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. So you're just like a... Uh, you're like the exact same thing as the other ones, except for instead of two mountains, you're three in a mountain. Okay. Experiment one, if I remember, this is a good one. It's a 1-1 one, one human ooze with, uh, for one forest. It's got evolve. Remove two 1-1 one, one counters from it. Regenerate it. Yeah, it's, it's an evolver for one. That's pretty cool. Deep analysis. All right. All right, all right. What do you got for me? We got a spider soldier. Oh, that's I, the other ones weren't soldiers. Were they? Cryptic spire. Okay, monastery swift spear. We've already seen you. This is the first one. So this is the third one I've got between the collector and this one. But this is the only one that's not the spiffy artwork. Fiery fall. Privileged position. What are you, man? It's an enchantment for two and three forest and or planes. Other permanents you control have X-proof. Ooh, you're fucking cool, dude. I like that. Oh, we got another Merc Free, uh, Fiend uh, Liege guy. That's nice. Fire Mind Vessel. This is a mana rock and it's an artifact for four. 
enters the battlefield tapped, and it adds two mana of different colors. Bant Charm. It's an instant for a forest, a plains, and an island. Choose one, destroy target artifact, put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library, or counter target instant spell. We got Rakados Canary, uh, Carnarium. It's a dual land. Uh, swamp in a uh, mountain. We got Disfigure. It's an instant for a swamp. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. We got Anoiter of Valor. Uh, Valor. It's a 3-5 Angel for 5 in a Plains. It's got Flying. Whenever a creature attacks, you may pay 3. When you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature. You cost 6? I'm not impressed with you. Aven Initiate. Oh, isn't that that fucking token we got? That's that token we got. It's got a... It's a 3-2 Bird for 3 and an Island. And it's got Flying and Embalm 6 and an Island. Yeah, we got another Vampire Sovereign, Kroon Striker. Don't think I've seen you. It's a 2-1 Human Warrior for one in a mountain. Whenever, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus one, plus zero, and gains trample till end of turn. Yeah, you only cost two? Okay. Thrive, we got another one of those. I like those. Fireblade Artist. It's a 2-2 Human for a Swamp and a Mountain. It's got haste. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice a creature. When you do, it deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Huh. You can only do it once, though. So. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Whatever we get. Yeah, we got another one of those emissary cards right there. Looks like we're running out of steam, man. Come on, we need another really good pack. Come on. Show us something here, guy. A uh, Sporling, a Vampire, and of course our Cryptic Spire. Sensor Splicer, you look neat. It's a 1-1 one, one Phyrexian Artificer for 4 in a Plains. When it enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three Golem Artifact Creature Token. Golem creatures you control have Vigilance. You cost 5? And that's all you do? You're trash, dude. I don't like you. Carrier Thrall, haven't we seen this one already? Yeah, in case we haven't. It's a 2-1 Vampire for one in a swap. And when it dies, create a 1-1 one, one Colorless Adrazi Zion Creature Token. It has sacrificed this creature at a colorless mana. Pretty sure we've seen that one already. Thousand Year Storm? You sound and look cool. It's an enchantment for four, an island, and a mountain. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before it this turn. You may choose new target. Holy shit, dude! Oh, you're a bad motherfucker, man! Oh, that was a good one! Restoration Angel. It's a 3-4 angel for a 3 in a plains. It's got flying and flash. And when it enters the battlefield, you may exile target non-angel creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. I think we've already seen that one, I think. Labyrinth Champion. It's a 2-2 human for a 3 in a mountain. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, it deals 2 damage to any target. League Guild Mage. It's a 2-2 human wizard for a, an island and a mountain. 3 in an island. Tap it. Draw a card. X in a mountain. Tap it. Copy, uh, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control with mana value X. You may choose new targets for the copy. You're kind of a cool one. That's a neat one. Skin Render. It's a 3 3 Phyrexian zombie for two and two swaps. When it enters the battlefield, put three minus one minus one counters on target creature. Oh, okay. And we got another last breath. Hyena Umbra. Here is a good one. Spell Pierce. Unearth. It is a sorcery for one swap. Return target creature card with mana value two or uh, three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's even got cycling two, so you're pretty good for one, man. That's a good one. Militia Bugler. Ar Arcanus Web. This is the one that the spider told me to go get. There's a spider I got in the collector box that told me to go get this Arcanus Web thing. It is an enchant creature for two in a forest. Enchanted creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. At the beginning of the end step, if enchanted creature's power is four or greater, destroy it. it destroy this. Oh, well, that's dumb. Beginning of the end step. 
Well, you won't stay on there very long, guy. They'll just buff the guy up to more than four. And we got another Cartel Aristocrat and another Titan Strength. But we got a... Uh, that Thousand Year Storm was freaking tight. I liked that. That was cool. It means you're, it's like a storm on top of a storm. So you, you could copy the spell for every spell you played. And then you, you're going to copy a bunch. Of, that's cool. A Cat Dragon. A 3-3 three, three Flying Cat Dragon token, man. Oh, that is tight. And a Spirit on the other side. Cryptic Spire, we got Psychic Symbion, uh, Symbiont, it's a 3-3 Nightmare for 4, an island in a swamp, it's got flying, and when it enters the battlefield, the target opponent discards a card, and you draw a card. Militia Bugler, Anguished Unmaking, that doesn't sound good, it's an instant for 1, a planes in a swamp, exile target, non-land permanent, you lose 3 life. You exile it, oh, that's a pretty good deal. That was a pretty good one. Mind Rack Liege. This is like that other guy, only different colors. So 4-4 four, four Horror for 3 and 3 Islands and or Mountains. Oh, okay, there we go. Other blue creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. Other red creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. And for 1, 2, 3, 4 Islands and or uh, Mountains, you may put a blue or red creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Eh. Okay. Abzan Charm. Pretty sure we've seen this one already. Wait, maybe that was a different one. We'll go through it just in case. It's an instant for a plains, a swamp, and a forest. Choose one. Exile target creature with power three or greater. You draw two cards and you lose two life. Or distribute two 1-1 one, one counters among one or two target creatures. We got a Gruel Turf. It's a uh, mountain forest dual land. Prophetic Bull. It's an instant for three, an island, and a mountain. Deals four damage to any target. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of those cards into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Oh, okay. Bloodwater Entity. It's a 2-2 elemental for one, an island, and a mountain. It's got flying prowess, and when it enters the battlefield, you may put target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. All that for three? You're pretty good for just three there, guy. Traveler's Amulet? It's a, uh, this is a mana rock, pretty much. It's a, uh, artifact for one and one sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Mana Leak. Severed Strands. Doomed Traveler. Might of Old Corosa. Le Levi Sky Knight. Oh, yeah, okay. And Fiery Fall. All right, what do we got in you? What do you got to say? We're at 53 minutes, what the fuck? Wasn't trying to make it go 53 minutes. We got a bear and an Eldrazi Zion. I've never seen one of these before, I don't think. Crypt Spire, we got Jeske uh, Elder. It's a 1-2 human for a 1 in an island. It's got prowess, and when it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. I'm not impressed with you guys. We got another ingenious scrap. Surgical Extraction. What the fuck are you? You look fucking way badass, dude. It's, uh, I, I don't know what the name of that symbol. It is, uh, that is you either pay to life or a swap. Yeah, there we go. There you go, right there. Choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land card. Search its owner's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as that card and exile them. Then that player shuffles. Well, that's useless for me because I play Commander. What's what's the chances that's going to be any good? Fiery Justice. It's a sorcery for a mountain, a forest, and a plains. It deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of targets. Target opponent gains five life. Target opponent? So you're going to deal five damage to people and then somebody else gains five life. You suck, dude. I'm not impressed with you. What the hell are you? Civic Saber. It's a artifact equipment for one. Its equip cost is one. An equipped creature gets plus one, plus oh for each of its colors. Mm, for one? Mm, okay. Crackling Doom. Um, it's an instant for a mountain, a plains, and a swamp. 
deals two damage to each opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. Damn, you're fucking cool. For three, I like you. Is it Boil Works? It's you know, a dual land, uh, island in the mountain. Settle Beyond Reality, Blood Flow, Flow Connoisseur, Aether Snipe, Eye Blight's Ending, Sensor Splicer, Elvish Rejuvenator. It's a 1 1 elf for 2 and a forest. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You might put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tap, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Ingenious Scabe and Stormfleet Pyromancer. All right. Wasn't too impressed with that last pack. We got Spider and a Monk with Prowess. Okay. Cryptic Spires. We got an Arachnus Spinner. This is the one I was telling you in the collector that let me go and get the the web. Yeah, there we go. It's a 5-7 Spider for 5 in a uh, forest. It's got Reach and Tap and Untap Spider. You control such a graveyard and or library for a card named Arachnus Web and put it onto the battlefield attached to target creature. If you search this li your library this way, shuffle. Experiment 1, Abzan Ascendancy. I think we might have seen this one already. Hold on a second. Apparently not. It's an enchantment for a plains, a swamp, and a forest. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying. You're, pre you're pretty cool. Guided Passage. We got... Oh, no, okay. This this is an enchantment. It's a sorcery for a forest, an island, and a mountain. Reveal the cards in your library. An opponent chooses from among them a creature card, a land card, and a non-creature, non-land card. You put the chosen cards into your hand, then shuffle. Holy shit. You only cost three. You... Mm. An opponent chooses from among them a creature card. The only thing I could put you in right now is Animar, and you're not going to work there. This is a good one. Bounty of Luxa. It's an enchantment for two, a forest, and an island. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all flood counters from it. If no counters were removed this way, put a flood counter on it and draw a card. Otherwise, add a colorless, a forest, and an island to your mana pool. Pretty spiffy one there. Terminate, pretty common one. It's an instant for a swamp and a mountain. Destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. Unburial rights? What the fuck are you? You're a sorcery for four and a swamp. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Flashback, three in a plains. Okay. Drag Mangler again. Jeske Elder. Lilianus Elite. It... I think we've seen this one already. It might have been the collector's box we've seen. It's a 1-1 zombie for two in a swamp. It gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. That's pretty cool. Seeker of the Way. It's a 2-2 human for one in a plains. It's got prowess, and whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Seeker of the Way gains life leak until end of turn. Tusk Guard Captain, Augur Spree, Hero of the Games, Web Weaver Changeling. The middle of this... Has been the our middle, our middle has kind of sucked so far. Not super spiffy with it. Our start was so badass though; it makes up for it, man. Got a boar and a treasure. Cryptic spires, mentor of the meek, Croon striker. Oh damn, dude! Phyrexian altar. Oh yeah. It's an artifact for three. Sacrifice a creature. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Oh, that's fucking tight. That's a good one. Planner Bridge? I've never seen you before. What the fuck are you? It's a legendary artifact for six. Eight and tap it? Eight and tap it? Search your library for a permanent card. Put that... Put it onto the battlefield and... Any permanent card goes onto the battlefield? Dude, you gotta be... Is this banned in Commander? I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna check the banned list real quick. Dude, this thing isn't banned! Holy shit, you're fucking tight, dude! I mean, yeah, I mean, to use it right away, that cost 14, but still, you just keep untapping the damn thing. Holy shit, dude! 
Oh, you are a bad fucker, dude. Damn, dude. Oh, yeah. That was tight. I liked this pack. We got Spider Spawning. It's a sorcery for four in a forest. Create a one, two green spider creature token with reach for each creature card in your graveyard. Each creature card in your graveyard? Flashback, six in a mount and a swap. Holy fuck, dude. You're kind of cool. Biogenic Upgrade this is another good one, man. Sorcery, four and two forest. Distribute three 1-1 one, one counters among one, two, or three target creatures. Then double the number of 1-1 one, one counters on each of those creatures. Damn, dude. Oh, this pack was fucking tight, dude. Wall of Omens. It's a 0-4 wall for one in a plains. It's got Defender, and when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Martial Glory. Wingsteed Rider. Capture Spear. Strands of Undeath. God's Willing. Quas Quasali Pride Mage again. Living Lightning. And thr another Thrive. Oh, that, that was bitching, dude. That was a good pack. We liked that pack, man. Still looking for my Kozilek, though. We got a zombie and a knight. Crypt Spires, Skeleton Archer, Avon Initiate, a bot of the of Carol Keep. Was this in the Collector Booster or this one? I was in this one. We saw that. If I remember right, this guy was cool. Joda Archmage Eternal. He's a 4-3 Commander Human Wizard. For one, an island, a mountain, and a plains flying. You may pay one of every color rather than pay the mana cost for spells that you cast. You're dumb. I don't like you. Breakthrough. X in an island. It's a sorcery. Draw four cards, then choose X cards in your hand and discard the rest. Oh. Okay. I have a couple different decks where I draw a bunch of cards, but I don't really need to keep them. So, okay, you're cool. I like that. We got a Tower Gargoyle. It's a 4-4 Gargoyle with flying for one uh, plains, an island, and a swamp. Okay. Kind of a funky one. Cedraxis Spectre. Never seen you before. It's a 3-2 Spectre for an island, a swamp, and a mountain. It's got flying. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Unearth one and a swamp. Spark Mage's Gambit. Haven't we seen this one already? It's a sorcery for one in a mountain. It deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures. Those creatures can't block this turn. Yeah, we've seen that one. Agony Warp. We've seen this one. Il Umbra. Supernatural Stamina. Momentary Blink. Call to the Feast. Dark Dweller Oracle. Sacrifice. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've seen this one. And another Rampant Growth. All right, we're down to our last third here, man. So we're two-thirds of the way through. The first the first part was better than our second and then the the midway part, but we did get that one really badass pack in the mid part, so that's good. We got a spider and a spirit. Crypt expires. We got a bloodwater entity. We've seen this one already before, haven't we? Pretty sure. Pretty sure we went over that one. Battlefield promotion. Oracle of Muldea. It's an elf. 2-2 two, two elf for 3 and a forest. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play land, land cards from the top of your library. I think... I think I've got that one, but it's different artwork, so that's why I didn't recognize it. You're a good one, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're in Azusa. If not, you gotta go in Azusa. Lava Lanch. It's a sorcery for X, a swamp, a mountain, and a forest. Deals X damage to target player or planeswalker, and each creature that player or that planeswalker's controller controls. Damn, you're kind of an asshole. This thing just fucks everything up, dude. That's fucking tight. Dragon Arch. It's an artifact for five. Two and tap it. You may put a multicolored creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Okay. Boris Garrison, it's a dual land, mountain, and, and plains. Domestication, it's an enchant creature for two and two islands. You control enchanted creature. At the beginning of your end step, if enchanted creature's power is four or greater, sacrifice this. Holy shit, you're fucking cool, dude. Just gain control of a creature, I like that. Glow Spore Shaman, 
Doomed Traveler, Spell Pierce, Supernatural Stamina, God's Willing, Tusk Guard Captain, Dark Dweller Oracle, and Am Ambuscade. It's an instant for two and a forest. Target creature you control gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. It deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. What will we get inside this? That one was pretty spiffy. Eh, not a not a shabby pack. We'll go with that. Open this one and then I got posit so I can go get a, get a drink real quick. My voice is starting to get out give out on me again. Seems to be happening lately. We got a fairy rogue token and a soldier. Still no bunny. Cryptic spires, spark mages gambit, living lightning. What the fuck are you? Whoa, dude, what the fuck? We got do 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 do. Figure of destiny. It's a one one kith kithkin for a mountain slash plains. For a mountain slash plains, it becomes a 2-2 two -two spirit with base, uh, a 2-2 two -two spirit. For three mountain slash plains, it becomes a 4-4 four -four spirit. And for one, two, three, four, five, six mountain slash plains, it becomes an 8-8 eight, eight avatar with base power and uh, it becomes an 8-8 eight, eight avatar with flying and first strike. Oh, it's not till end of turn. Holy shit. And then it morphs into an 8-8 an eight, eight flying first striker. Holy shit. You're kind of a cool one there, guy. That was a neat one. Wilt Leaf Liege. This is a 4-4 four, four elf for 1 and 3-4 slash planes. Other green creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. Other white creatures get plus 1, plus 1. If a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Wilt Leaf Liege, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. Devoted Druid! Oh yeah! That's a good one there. It's a 0-2 Elf Druid for 1 in a forest. You can add 1 to your mana pool and put a negative 1, negative 1 counter on it to untap it. So theoretically, you could produce... Let's see, 1, 2... You can only do the 3... Uh, you can only do the two because if you put a third one one negative one one counter on it, it dies. So still, you can untap it for an extra fucking mana. Let's see, heroic reinfor reinforcements. It's a sorcery for two, a mountain, and a plains. Create two one one white soldier creature tokens. Until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain haste. Huh, isn't that shabby? Is that boiler works? It's a dual land for island and a mountain. Last Breath, Mana Leak, Bull Stride Spy, Hyena Umbra, Fiery Fall, Grapple with the Past, pretty sure we've seen that one already, Rift Bolt, it's a sorcery for two and a mountain, Rift Bolt deals three damage to any target, and you can suspend it for one mountain, and it suspends for one turn, huh, okay, Call to the Feast, all right. All right, what do we got going on here? A zombie token and a knight. Cryptic Spires. Surreal Memoir. Deranged Assistant. It's a 1 1 wizard for a 1 in an island. Tap it, mill a card, add a colorless. You're pretty cool. You're probably, probably going to put that in my wizard deck. Force of Negation. You're a good one if I remember right. It's an instant for one in two islands. If it's not your turn, you may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay this. Oh, yeah, it's a counter spell and you can exile the thing. Yeah. And then if you if you uh, counter target non-creature spell, if that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. You're a good one. Bellfire Liege, another one of these lieges. It's a 2-4 spirit horror for two mountains and swamps. Red and other red and white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a red spell, it deals three damage to target player or planeswalker. Whenever you cast a white spell, you gain three life. Oh, okay. You're an all right one. Travel Preparations. It's a sorcery for one in a forest. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Flashback one in a plains. Eh, okay. Arachnus Spinner. 
Blood Artist, this is a good one. It's a zero one vampire for one in a swamp. Whenever another creature dies, it or another creature dies, target player loses one life and you gain one life. You're a good one. Ground Assault again. Another Kazmina's Transmutation. That's a good one. Advanced Stitchwing. Shadowborn Apostle. Anoik Bondkin. Web Weaver, uh, Weaver Changeling. Monastery Swiss Spear. And Gnarlback Rhino. It's a 4 4 Rhino for 2 and 2 Forest. It's got Trample. And whenever you cast a spell that targets it, draw a card. Not a shabby pack. We're pretty happy with that one. Still looking for a Kozilek. That'd be nice. That would be not, not frowned upon. In fact, I don't even think I got a Titan in this one. My brother got two in his. An egg? That's cool. We got an egg and a spirit. Cryptic Spire. Gruel Turf. That's a dual land. Mountain Enforced. Jeske Charm. Not sure if we've seen this one yet or not. It's an island, a, a mountain, and a plains instant. Choose one. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. It deals four damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain lifelink until end of turn. Pretty sure we've seen that one. This is, if I remember right, this is a good one. Cavern of Souls. As Cavern of Souls enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Add one colorless mana. Add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and that spell can't be countered. You're fucking good. Yeah, that's a hella good one there, dude. Uh, Yehin, Yeheni, Undying Partisan. It's a 2-2 Commander Aetherborn Vampire for two in a swamp. It's got haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a 1-1 counter on him. Sacrifice another creature. He gains indestructible until end of turn. You're a pretty cool one there, guy. He's a spiffy one. Breakthrough. Bear's Companion. It's a 2 2 human for two, a forest, an island, and a mountain. When it enters the battlefield, create a 4 4 green bear creature token. Washout. Oh, damn. It's a sorcery for three and a plane, uh, and an island. Return all permanents of the color of your choice to their owner's hand. Uh, hands. Damn, dude. Chronicles of Heroes. Pretty sure we already seen this one before. Yeah. Is that Charm? Makeshift Mauler, Vampire Sovereign, Momentary Blink, Croon Striker, Burning Tree Emissary. It's a 2 2 human for 2 mountains slash forest. When it enters the battlefield, add a mountain and forest to your mana pool. So you just added what you just used to, to cast it? Well, that's pretty neat. And Ambuscade again. Eh, all right. What are we down to? We're down to our final four. What do you got for me, guy? It's a boar and a treasure. Cryptic spires, settle beyond reality, all shiny one, disfigure, ashen rider. It's a 5-5 five, five archon for four, two plains and two swamps. Damn, dude, you better be damn good. It's got flying, and when it enters the battlefield or dies, exile target permanent. Oh, okay. All right. All right, okay. Magister Sphinx. It's a 5 5 artifact Sphinx for four, an island, a plains, and a swamp. Flying. When it enters the battlefield, target player's, uh, target player's life total becomes to. Damn! Oh, that is fucked up, dude! Just change somebody's life total automatically? Oh, that is fucked. Stagger Shock. It's an instant for two in a mountain. It deals two damage to any target. Rebound. Pretty sure we saw that one. Psychic Symbiont. Lightning Helix. This is a good one. Uh, mount, it's an instant for a mountain in a plains. It deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. Winged. Uh, Winged Steed Rider. Eel Am Umbra. Carry a Thrall. Relief Captain. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've seen this one. Lava Coil. It's an, a sorcery for one in a mountain. It deals four damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exiled instead. Deadly Recluse. Coiling Oracle. 
It's a 1-1 Snake Elf Druid. Pretty sure we've seen this one, but we'll go over it just in case. For a forest and an island, you want to enter the battlefield, re reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. Hissing Iguanar? It's a 3-1 Lizard for uh, two and a mountain. Whenever another creature dies, you may have it this deal one damage to target player or planeswalker. Well, you're pretty spiffy there, guy. It doesn't even have to be your creature that dies, so that's pretty neat. Down to our final three here. Let's see what we got. Flick that off to the side there. We got another egg. That's pretty cool. And a spirit. I don't think we're going to get a bunny. I don't I don't even know if you can get bunnies out of these. So. Cryptic Spire, Blood Braid Elf, Ambuscade, Lord of Extinction. That doesn't sound good. It's a Star Star Elemental for three, a swamp, and a forest. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in all graveyards. Oh, you're a bad fucker. I like you. Hostage Taker. If I remember, this is a good one, too. It's a 2-3 Pirate for two, an island, and a swamp. When it enters the battlefield, exile another target creature or artifact. <coughs> Sorry about that. Until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. Yeah, you're a pretty good one. Myth Realized? What the fuck? It's an enchantment for planes. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a lore counter on Myth Realized. Tune of Planes, put a lore counter on it. Okay. Planes, until end of turn, Myth Realized becomes a monk avatar creature in addition to its other types and gains. This creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lore counters on it. The fuck? You're kind of a funky one, dude. Blazing Hellhound. It's a... Isn't this the sacrifice of creature? Yeah, it deals one damage to any target. I think we've already seen this one. A Simic Grove Chamber, a really cool looking one. Forest and Island. Traveler's Amulet, Forbidden Alchemy. Unearth, another cool looking one. Sensor Splicer, Jeske Elder. Experiment One, Rift Ball, and Elvish Rejuvenator. We are down to our last two, so our start was super badass. We kind of slowed down there in the middle, and then we're doing all right at the end. But the the start was so badass that uh, these next two packs can totally suck, and I'd still be overly pleased with this box. So We got a zombie and a knight there. Civic Saber, last breath. The Mimoplasm. This guy was cool. It's a zero zero commander ooze for a two, a swamp, an I uh forest and an island. When he enters the battlefield, you may exile two creature cards from graveyards. If you do, it enters the battlefield as a copy of one of those cards with a number of additional one one counters on it equal to the power of the other card. This guy's a neat fucker, dude. Aether Vile, it's an artifact for one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a charge counter on Aether Vial. Tap it. You may put a creature card with mana value equal to the number of charge counters. Oh, yeah. Okay. On Aether Vial from your hand onto the battlefield. You're a neat one. Glory Scale Vachino. It's a 3-3 Vachino for one of a uh, mountain, a forest, and a plains. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, it gets plus three, plus three till end of turn. Grave bl Blade Marauder. It's a 1 4 human for 2 in a swamp. It's got Death Touch. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Oh, fuck. You're kind of an asshole guy. Mole Drifter. I don't think we've seen it in this box yet. It's a 2 2 elemental for 4 in an island. It's got flying, and when it enters the battlefield, draw 2 cards. It's got evoke 2 in an island. This figure, Winged Kotol, Liliana's Elite, Seeker of the Way, Deranged Assistant, Katil Aristocrat for Furrier's Emissary Thingy, and the Alistar. So we're down to our last one here. What do you got for me?
Ren and six fucking token. That's cool. Spirit. We got Cryptic Spires. We got Creekwood Leech. Haven't we seen this one already? No, this one lets you create 1-1 one, one black. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may create a 1-1 one, one black and green worm creature token. It's a 2-2 two, two horror. All the other leeches. Coiling, uh, Coiling Oracle, a super spiffy, shiny version of it. Bring to light. We already saw that. Bedlam Reveler. It's a 3-4 devil for 6 and 2 mountains. This spell costs 1 less to cast for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard. It's got prowess. And when it enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Hmm, okay. Centaur Battlemaster. I think I know this one. It's a 3-3 three, three Centaur for three and two forest. And whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put three 1-1 one, one counters on it. Holy shit, three? Damn, dude. Solte Sol Soothsayer. Say 2 5 Naga for 2 a swamp, a forest, and an island. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Demore Aqueduct. It's a dual land, island swamp. Blood Water Entity. Seeker Squire. Anointer of Valor. Thought Scour. We've seen this one, right? Yeah, for sure. Lava Coil, Arachnus Web, Burning Tree Emissary, and our last card, Hissing Inguaner. I didn't get any of the Titans. We got badass shit, though, dude. Holy hell. So, we, our, our first third of the box was fucking hardcore, dude. So, if I had to say, compared to... uh. Compare it to the collector box. This one was better. I think I got uh, slightly better stuff, but I only got the, like, as compared, like, each pack seemed to have at least one really badass thing, but there was only four packs. So, the collector box was meh. This one was really good. I, I liked it. We'll put this, like, if I had to, if I had to scale them based on a, Based off of like what we're getting the bang for our buck, I'd put the you know the uh last one, the collector box at like a three out of five. So very meh. I'm not disappointed in it, but it wasn't anything super special. When you're you're comparing bang for your buck. And this one I'd probably put at I'd say four. So, you know, we got some really good shit there at the start, and then it kind of it slowed down a little bit, but I mean the start was fucking some badass shit dude so but that is the uh so that's our uh double masters draft booster uh box that's what you get inside there did not get my uh my titan but i got i got all kinds of other spiffy stuff that i was looking for so that's good so, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got what you're looking for. Uh, sometime soon, I don't know when, but I have my Flesh and Blood Uprising booster box that I will be opening up and uploading to the channel. And hopefully, I'm recording this on Saturday. I don't even know when the hell I'm going to have it uploaded. I, I, I had to work. I'm working Saturday this week, so... I'm actually going to end up with overtime this week. First time in a long time. So, yeah, I'm kind of scrambling here. But I will also, hopefully tomorrow, me and my brother are going to whip out the uh, Flesh and Blood Uprising uh, Blitz decks, the starter decks, and we'll be playing with those. So you got that to look forward to. I'm, I'm going to try to start getting more card stuff on this channel as far as... Uh, games but you know I've, I've only got so much time on my hand unfortunately so but but we're gonna try to try to dig into this flesh and blood a little bit this weekend so i hope you enjoyed i hope uh hope you're looking forward to the flesh and blood stuff i've got coming up and thanks for tuning in i guess i'll see you next time